Well, we are currently at anchor on the west shore of St. Vincent when my boat mom sends me a message. She says, please be careful. There was a violent night boarding of a yacht at anchor in St. Vincent's January 16th, 2022. First hand report at 2.30 in the morning on the 16th of January, the sailing vessel of a solo sailor was boarded by two masked men. The boat was anchored in Buckament Bay on the west coast of St. Vincent's, which is very close to where we are now. A buddy boat was anchored close by. The owner was asleep in the forward cabin. He awoke to find himself being choked. He initially struggled even though the assailant was much younger and more powerful. However, there was a second assailant who was holding a gun, so resistance stopped. The owner was blinded by a cloth over his head as the thieves ransacked the boat. They took all the valuables, electronics, phone, personal computer, cameras, etc. They demanded cocaine and money. There were no drugs, but the owner cooperated in handing over a significant number of American dollars. The thieves tied up the owner and were going to take the dinghy and motor. However, it was suspended in davits and chained to the arch, so they must have decided it was too difficult and left it. Once they'd gone, the owner untied himself and notified the police. No arrests have been made as of today, January 18th. We are anchored in St. Vincent in a secluded bay very near where this attack occurred two days ago. And we have no security on this boat. Good morning, sailors and sailing fans. So the exciting news is we spent a nice quiet night here in St. Vincent's. We did not have any problems with intruders. Um, there were a lot of boats around us, so it was unlikely. I think it's unlikely that criminals would try to board the boat when there are so many boats close together. We had a cat on either side of us so close we, were, we touched. Like we swung into and were touching the cat off the port side. So it was a quiet, peaceful night with no crime or burglaries or problems, but I admit I, I slept with a knife. I've had internet access and I've looked at the wind forecast. I've decided today we're going to make the jump to St. Lucia, first reef in the main. Tomorrow we should be okay for the jump from St. Lucia to Martinique. But as much as I was worried about anchoring in St. Vincent's because it's high crime, I've always skipped St. Lucia in the past because it's super high crime. and there are not a lot of places where it's even possible to anchor in St. Lucia but tonight we're gonna have to find a place to anchor in St. Lucia and just fingers crossed that we do and pray to God nobody boards the boat tomorrow we can finish the jump to Martinique Okay, we've released the stern line. My friend, this local bum comes out and begins harassing Tyro. me while I'm trying Tyro. to set sail. Tyro. I'm trying to leave the bay. This guy off. keeps offering me drinks and a party and a good time at My his place. He hook. can't stop staring at the white female captain. Alright people, let's go sailing. I got my crew lifting the hook. The stern line has been released and we're going to get ready to go sailing. Winds today are expected around 20 knots, so we've already got the first reef in the main. Okie dokie, that was a ton of fun. It was, um... Getting off the anchor, because the winds were from behind and we were being held by the stern line, as soon as we let the stern rope go, the wild child kind of flew right over her anchor and had to spin around backwards. Also, the anchors in 60, was in 60 feet of water with 60 feet of chain. 60 feet of chain plus the heavy anchor was a lot of weight for poor Ivan in the windlass, so it took quite a while to get it up. But as soon, because we were backwards, it broke free. We drifted off with hanging like 100 feet of chain and anchor until we could get it up. But we now have main raise, first reef. We're having problems with the autopilot that I'm not sure of. It wasn't on, it didn't register on the bus initially. Seems to be there now, let's hope it doesn't become a problem later. And I think we can do Lexi's favorite thing and shut the engine off. Ah, uh, like real sailors. 
Gamers, we love that sound of silence. So right now we are sailing 4.7 over 2.2, broad reach, starboard tack, reefed main only, no jenny. So, my lovely well-trained crew, what do you feel like is going to be the next thing we're going to do? Next thing we're going to do is uh, raise the jenny sail. We're going, to pull, we're going to pull out the jenny, so, um, we yeah. Need to, we need to uh, undo this uh, rope. What is the name of this rope? Uh, furling line. <laughs> furling Excellent! Line. Yeah! He gets it! Yay! Yeah. English is his fourth language and sailing language is technical, so it takes a long time for these words that make no sense to him to kind of register in. But, eventually, it all sticks. Okie okay, dokie, I'm not going to film. We're going to pull the furling line and open the jenny and be under sail. We're going to use boat magic. Ready? Boat magic. See, I told you I'd use boat magic, and now we're off. Next stop, St. Lucia. Let's pray that we can anchor. Pray that nobody robs us, no crime. Stay alive. Stay alive. I like staying alive, we should do it more often. Well, today we finally got the winds that we were supposed to have yesterday. The sailing conditions are perfect. You can see in front of us, that's the volcano La Soufre that blew its stack about eight months ago and covered the entire island in ash. You can see though, it's not covered in ash. Like, all the trees and vegetation at the basin on it are dead. But uh, the island is still basically green. I got a problem. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I've broken a slug on the mainsail. That's not good. That's a bad thing. I don't know if it just came out of the track or if the slug broke. That's bad mojo. And there's one above too. I hope they slipped out and didn't break. Oh fuck. That's not good. Wild Child is sailing on our side again as we approach the Patons of St. Lucia. Okay, you guys can see that we're approaching the Patons in St. Lucia. It's between 15 and 18 knots. We're into it. We're still doing six, between six and seven knots, and I reefed the main, I reefed the Jenny twice. We're down to like 50% Jenny, and she's still going like a bat out of hell. But we're about to get hit by some storms coming off the mountains. You can see we're in funny winds now. There's rain coming off the mainland, and it's affecting the air for Wild Child at the moment. You can see that we're coming within the lee of St. Lucia. That storm's hit us. We got winds up now around 20 knots. I've, 
I'm bleeding off the pressure from the mainsail and we've reduced the Jenny to 50%. A wild child still doing over seven and a half knots. She's moving, so I keep luffing it to windwards to kill the pressure on the sails. Can't even slow this girl down. She is so fast. I understand that everybody that buys a sailboat nowadays wants a big comfortable IKEA boat, not a real sailing boat, but it makes a difference when you buy a real sailing boat. Wild Child is so fast, can sail directly upwind any direction she wants. She's a fantastic sailing vessel, which is the way these things were supposed to be. But nobody wants to actually sail anymore. It's a little bit sad. Okie dokie. We were just hailed on VHF by that fishing vessel saying, hey, unidentified blue sailboat going north. They told us they've got like a big marlin on the hook. It's a sport fishing vessel, so they got a, you know, a thousand pound marlin or whatever that they're fighting in. And they said the marlin was running between them and shore. So they asked us to change our course to divert out and around them past their bow, not their stern. So of course we happily replied and obliged them it's now put us, we're at, we were at six miles offshore, we're probably now seven miles offshore. It puts us out of our way, but uh, here's to hoping they catch a big beautiful marlin, huh? We were racing the sunset to an anchorage, and we lose. That sun is setting right now, and we're going to be sailing it. We're still probably six miles away from anchoring in unstable squirrely mountain winds. We're gonna be anchoring in the dark off the coast of St. Lucia. And this was not the plan. Okay, I know there's not much for you guys to see, but we're coming in blind south of Rodney Bay here. Not Rodney Bay, I'm Marigo. I think there's an anchorage straight ahead in the dark. We can't see fuck all and uh, we are navigating in blind and of course it's raining and that's sailing. Let's hope to God we anchor safely and this doesn't turn into a horrible disaster or mistake. So the charts are correct. Let's hope we don't hit any boats. Slow is good. 